So what's up guys, been a while. I just got my trail arm bushings from Energy and it's how they look. And then there's the bushings. And now uh, it came, came with this and it comes with instructions. I just got the other side done. I burnt the old one out and uh, threw in the Energy trail arm bushings. And now I gotta do the other side. I haven't even started on it, it's got everything prepared for this side. Tools I'm in use for right now. And then uh, all my other tools over here. You got my torch over there. Um, spray paint you need is regular black and uh, grinding wheel or whatever. Yep. Then I had to customize my own little rig, but I'll show you guys that later. Okay, I got it jacked up. And I got a extra jack over there just in case. Jack stand. Uh, done that side so and then after I'm use this rope just to tie my wheel. It's just I'm too lazy to take out my wheel and do everything like that. I'm gonna just tie my wheel onto the suspension over here so it won't flop side to side and my axle will pop out. I just strap my wheel to my springs so I won't flap everywhere. All right, now we are down here. So here is here's the toe arm over here. This whole thing here. Just gotta loosen this boat up for right now. Then that'd be a 14. All right, right now it's pretty much loosed. So after that, I'm gonna go to the troll the troll arm uh, pushing side. Well, it got them loosened there. The two of these are like uh, 17. So then I'm just use the gun. Slowly taking them out one by one. You don't want it to fall on your face. They're ready to come out. And you see how done is it? It's, it's completely gone. That's why I got to change it. Got to take off this brake line here. And this brake line over here. I still gotta take out the uh, upper control arm for that. After that, it should be loose. Well, these two are gonna take a 14. So, I throw a 14 there, loosen. Oh, that's the impact is a piece of shit. The only one left is a, it's a toe arm. When I take it off, everything should be free. Alright, now I'll just pull it right off. Damn, I think it's a good guy out. It's out. Put my line on top of here, hook it up right there. I need to bring this down some more. I just have a lot of tension here already. So. What I did a while ago was I'll jack it up higher. Just like that. And lower it. Now we have room to work and the brake line is it's not much tension on it guys. Good enough. I think it's your plier. This the dirt. Now I'm gonna slit that burn right there. So Burn the other half. Well, that's low enough for me right there. Now it's time to burn it. Majority of it out. I got my butter knife here. And uh, it's got to take out these little metal inserts in here, both sides. So I got heated up until it gets real hot and then poke them out. They're pretty much ready to come out, so I'm gonna practice them a little bit. This 
side. Alright, let's take a look inside. Actually, they're, it's not ready. Burn it again. We're gonna go take a look at the other one. I don't know what you call it. Probably call it dog bone. It's in the plier. Alright, let's take a look at it. Crispy. burn for a while we're gonna go back over here and burn this bit more Let's see what we got here get a little bit I'm gonna just keep on working on this until it's clean and then I'll come back now we got all out and it clean and everything what I used was this little wire brush put on a drill Stick it in there. And then clean it up. And that's it. Then let's go check another one. Let's get the the dog bone, all the rubber taken off and uh I sand it and then I sprayed it. And now it's waiting for that to dry. And after that I'll put this part in, but not right now, I gotta I gotta run some errands so Whenever I come back, but then yeah, I'm back. So uh, this is a tool I made. To press it in. Well, this part. It's just something that I found laying around the house. What I use for my spacers, but that uh, I got no use for it no more because the car's not lifted anymore. And uh, just found two nuts and a big old long. Uh, I, I guess you call it screw or whatever. Put a washer there and add a bigger washer there. Make sure these two are tight. Then after that, drill a hole in the block like a 2 by 4 And then uh, you slip this guy in. Lube it up. And then you slip this guy in. Then after that, you just throw however many washer as you want on there which you just throw one and you put this nut on there and then you sandwich it like that yeah just like that works I did it on the other side and it works perfect and uh you gotta do it on this side put the lube that they gave us you gotta put it on it I'm gonna apply it to both sides on this whole side here and this whole side here. Yeah, almost. Fucking bitch. You yeah, faggot. All the way in now. <laughs> and you're gonna wanna lube up the dog bone. Oh, yeah, It's finally done. I went to test drove it. Oh, rice better. Right there. Looking good, looking pretty. Oh uh, yeah, one more thing I did do to the car. I have it recorded. So I had to put it on. Still get a rig, but I need to fix it to make it look nicer. There to these paw lights. And one over there. And then these right here. I just wired up to these existing 
a little shock holder thingy here. Kind of grind down the inside a little bit uh, of the little plastic in there and I just had to redrill this little bracket, the little hole right here, bigger so it'll stay on. It's pretty tight on there. Pretty good, it don't shake anything on both sides. And then um, all my wires from the comes from the back to the roof. And this wire, the top wire goes inside here. I don't really have a leaking issue, but I need to do something about it. Not yet though. And the switches are on here. Yeah, not these are here. I just eliminate that because I got this light here. That light is like kind of basically portable. Velcro it on. And this could extend farther and you just take this out like that. But then uh I'm throw it back on. It works pretty good. I'm close that back up. Then made a switch to it. It's brighter than these lights, but this light is I just went to Walmart and grabbed the wire harness for the pod lights. That's the back. That's the sides. Well, it's hot out here, but then uh, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe. All right, later.